So the country's focus on the economy have given uh, at least some evident political advantages thus far to the Democratic ticket. John McCain, conversely, continues his feverish populist backpedaling, uh, yesterday saying he opposed the government bailout for insurance giant AIG, today talking about its necessity. Uh, now he's for more regulation about 48 hours ago and for 26 years in Washington before that, he was against regulation. How can an avowed Reagan Republican make a pitch that he is the new FDR? And do Democrats win in the big picture anyway just because the Republican presidential candidate is trying to do that? Here to talk more about Senator McCain's record on economic issues and what happens when politics and economics get in a stock market crash together uh, is Thomas Frank. He's the author of the new book, The Wrecking Crew, How Conservatives Rule. Mr. Frank, thanks for joining us. How are you today, Rachel? I'm great. Happy to see you. Um, John McCain is on the campaign trail right now talking about um, the urgent need for more regulation. Does that uh, strike you yeah, as strange or expected? Uh, well, of course, it's a, it's it's totally bizarre. It's a, it's an act of pure opportunism, is what it is. You know, this is a guy. Uh, not only has he been, you know, uh, a deregulator for his entire career, but look at his uh, look at his his uh, former financial or former advisor on economic issues. I think he's back now. Phil Graham, isn't that the author of the uh, the law that overturned the uh, Glass Steagall uh, Act from the from the 1930s that originally regulated the banks? I mean, he's surrounded by deregulators. He comes from the, uh, the party of deregulation. This is the party that rode to power in 1980 on this, this sort of great wave of, uh, of anger at OSHA and at the FTC and the EPA and all this sort of thing, and they were going to turn back regulation. And they did it, you know. They did it. And now they've got to the, uh, they've they've take the responsibility for it. When um, McCain calls himself a Reagan Republican, which he still does proudly, you described the Republican Party uh, just now as, as the party of deregulation. Um, the argument was essentially government is bad. Um, yes. <laughs> how much of that has survived since 1980? Has it been refined? Is there a new form of anti-regulation Republican or is McCain defining a pro-regulation Republican future? Is, is are, are Republican politics around this issue changing? Well, I, I, I strongly doubt it. Not if he's not if he's still listening to the same people. Not if he's still listening to Phil Graham. You, you know, you look around Washington D.C. You look at the at the various institutions that go to make up conservative Washington D.C. Something like the Heritage Foundation, right, or the Mercatus Institute out in Virginia, or the, the Cato Institute. These these people are all about deregulation. I mean, the, it's all about letting the market run its course, letting the market rule everything. Of course, they pitch that too as a, as well when the, when that gets to be inconvenient, when that looks ugly. You know, and ultimately, what, what it comes back to is defending business. That's what the Republican Party is about, getting them off the hook, passing the bill on to you and me. Thomas Frank, author of the new book, The Wrecking Crew, How Conservatives Rule, also a weekly columnist now at The Wall Street Journal, to their great credit. Uh, thanks for joining us. Sure thing, anytime.